Hey book lovers, this is the third part to our talk about the Wings of Fire series. In part one, we talked about books one through five. In part two, we talked about books six through ten. And today we are talking about books 11 through 15. This set of books takes you to a totally different continent, the Lost Continent, which is mentioned a little bit in book 10 of the previous series. We are introduced to a whole host of other dragons in this series, but they also have a problem that they need to solve in order to survive. And they each have their own prejudices and differences that they have to overcome in order to rescue their island. Now, um, one element of this book that um, came up was that in book 13, we are introduced to a character that has same-sex attraction. And after this book, a few more characters pop in that do have this tendency. Now, as a Christian parent, um, in Christian circles, we are divided on this topic. So it's important to know what is in books, especially books directed towards kids and that have been such a big series previously. So I just encourage you to uh, think through it, read through it and have a good discussion with your kids. My 10 year old, when he read this book, did not um, pick up on those cues, but it did allow us to have a good conversation about um, homosexuality that I wasn't expecting to have, but I'm glad we did. So just wanted you to be aware of that so that you can be equipped as a Christian parent. Happy reading.